Oh, yeah, we're good. First match, top eight winner side of the Back to Brawl 50 Guilty Gear Strive Edition. We got Danny on the Kai versus Alex on the Gold Lewis. A really fun matchup. And uh, it's one of those matchups where really Gold Lewis can get aggressive. You know, as long as Danny's zoning isn't looking insane, we're going to be seeing a lot of offense on both sides here. Yep, yep. And um, the other thing is looking at the entire bracket here for the, uh, what is this, the 51? Uh, no, 50th. 50 marks even. The 50th. Damn, we're on the big 5-0. Um, it's quite a big bracket. It really is. Yep, really oh. exciting games today. And uh, a lot of character variety as well. Danny going to run up with the throw, extend to the RC, takes here to the wall. Actually, yeah, up stand with the super. Makes sense. You might as well end the super if the opponent is burst. Just to be safe. Yeah. The, um, the super is a clever one, but we usually see Danny try Ooh. to end of make the projectile one. Nice little conversion here. Alex yep, knockdown. <laughs> safe jump into the cross up. Another safe jump here. Gonna go for a frame trap. Are we gonna see a DP from Danny? Surprising lack of DP so oh. far from Danny for sure, but the OTG will be wow. enough. And Alex, really nice perfect there. That was impressive. That was genuinely impressive. I loved everything about that. The offensive game plan, the nurture, the safe jumps. It was also oh. clever. But right now it looks like Danny's the one that's gonna get started. Keep in the corner here. Nice virgin arc to keep him. Well, he bait burst. He does. Yep. He does. He's the Fugiak champ. He knows. is such a good option at covering Gold Lewis's jump angle. I mean, it's just a fantastic option against Gold Lewis. Oh. Even on the pressure. Standing at the drone. Wants to play a bit safe, but gets caught by the scum depper. And that is the first match going in Danny. On to game two, Danny did take that first one, but Alex absolutely showed that they can win this. Food Shark once again going to cover the Gold Lewis jump. In particular, going to beat that JD. Runs up, goes for the throw, going to mistime it. That is Alex setting up the pressure. That's plus 16, goes for a frame trap into a gap, and Danny's going to find it. Yeah, but just like that, I love the IBFD pushing Danny out. Not able to do any pressure, and we're back to this full screen situation. Oh, nice 2P. Going to set up the Thunderbird, going to run behind it, but the super... Deleting Thunderbird. I've never seen Thunderbird get deleted unless it's Gigant or Kai. That's impressive. Yeah, it does get destroyed by Kai Super. One of the few things that Super does for Kai. That's going to set up a meaty. Drone picks it <laughs> up. And yeah, really nice play there from Alex. Whenever someone goes oh, for yeah, a drone you, setup, by the way. Board. Oh, it, it's not up? Oh, you're right. Yeah, I got to yeah. update it. Yeah, whenever uh, you see Gold go for drone. Yeah. They usually have a way where their strike option is going to combo into the drone or they're just going to like do nothing and try to bait DP. But so far, once yeah. again, real lack of reversals here from Danny. Yeah, I, I think it's because, um, uh -oh. oh no, I think it's because Alex has been setting up a lot of safe opportunities for these jump in. So it's like, even in moments where he could DP, he's like, I better become, I better become. He's looking for it, obviously, you know. Both players pa playing patiently. Projectiles are coming out, going to lock you down with these big normals. Are you worried about the jump? Dragon Remember, Fujirak is always going to be there to stop that if they need to. But Drone takes some space. Gold Lewis takes a turn, builds the meter, unable to use it. Caught by nice. the lows. RC to extend. Huge corner carry here into the pressure. Yeah, now he's just going to keep on that pressure there. But the nice YRC it to throw. Cheeky ender, but never a fake one. Good stuff from uh, Alex here. It's all good. Yeah. JD's in, gets the counter hit, runs in, gonna bait that DP. Love going for 2P as an option. If you do time the 2P correctly, it will be reversal safe. That's exactly what we saw there. Very tight timing though, so impressive that you're able to find that in a match. Drone comes out, but the projectiles are gonna keep it locked down, gets in there, catches the overhead, goes for an OTG, and that's gonna lose your OK. Yeah. Nice throw here, and just like that, Danny's gonna keep on the pressure. And he does have the mirror convert after a scum depper, so we're gonna see some big damage. He's gonna go through the wall, and he's gonna have that bar after his positive bonus here. But the BRC into air throw from Alex, clever little play, oh. nice tech. That, that was, was just a, a fantastic back tech. That uh, throw was gonna be comboed meterlessly. <laughs> that drone was gonna pick it up, and Gold Lewis was gonna take that round. But nope, Danny ends up finding it with the tech. Jumps in with the JD6 being in a trade. Definitely favorable here for Danny. Able to make up a lot of space. Goes to the OTG. Stays in with the strikes. Gets a knockdown. Are we going to see some... Oh, yeah, there it is. Strike throw. Big counter hit. Ends with the super. And now it's not going to kill, but man, is it going to be a lot of damage. Yeah, it's basically, I guess, for your life situation here. Even though the Alex has burst, but the throw is what's going to end it. Taking us 2-1 for Danny. Going into the fourth match. It's scary for Alex. It's scary. Yep, yep.
On to game four. Danny is on set point. We're going to see a behemoth at the start. That's a low recovery one, but Danny's still going to walk up, go for that throw. Does it again even? OTG set up. Oh my god, continuously going for these throws, saying, hey, you got to tech these. And Alex just goes for the mash on wake up, an option that I actually really dig. Yeah, it's it's the right one. If your opponent's going to go for these throw situations, you deny every time. Oh, setting up the drone. And I like it. I like the little um, playback from Danny. You could have gone into 684 range and decided to stay away from it, taking the first round, and now it's set point for Danny here. The space control was just so clean there from Danny, and they do it again. Six ping that JD is actually so difficult to do. Not many can do it, but Danny makes it look so easy. They're going to get you to the wall, break it. Ops to hold on to the meter, and you know what? I like that, because you're going to be able to threaten the BRC at the round start, but Ooh. somehow Gold Lewis comes out on top. Drone gets the hit. You should be able to pick this up, force the burst out from Danny. Yeah, now we're back in Nooch. Goes for the run-up throw under those sacred briars. Danny's feeling... Wait, is that safe? It's safe! Yeah, it's safe. Yeah, it's safe. It's safe. Yo, ride the lightning on this, Phil. Never stop, just go. <laughs> <laughs> and just that, that is Danny. Danny. Take this at 3-1 over Alex. Match two of top eight winner's side. We've got Shin Phil on the Biken versus Mike Saftig on the Soul. This is going to be a match of all-out aggression, all battle, all fight, all the time. And uh, yeah, great start already. Yeah. And the, the, the thing that you can know about both these players' aggressions, it's very different, right? Biken's aggression is just relentless, high-low, right? It's all bad guys' oh. pressure. It just doesn't end. Oh, the damage. <gasps> yeah. Oh my god, two hits has never looked so scary. Bro, you're Ken Lung kind of crazy, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> nice pick up there from Shin Phil, and they will be taking the first round. Yep. Uh, off to a great start here. Oh. Tries to go for a JH, and that leads to a late delay on the Yozansen. Very nice pressure tilt, and just look at the damage from mid -screen. Oh my god. Biking is definitely one of those characters, man. Do not get hit. It is not worth it. Did you see that? Biking thre threatened to cross up JK there, and Mike Zaftik blocked it. Mike Zaftik's the goat. Wasn't ready for that area, though. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, letting the Kai out today. Big stuff. 1-0 to Shen for the start. Hopping straight into the second match. Shen gonna like go off the first win here very confidently but it seems like Mike Saftig oh. gonna get a conversion though. Yeah good pick just, up like, and they're gonna be able to set up oh. a frame trap here a huge counter hit force the burst out here from Shin Phil jumps in put yourself in the corner Shin Phil ready for the extension but it's gonna be a corner race into a PRC to bait the burst but it's gonna be a dropped combo afterwards gets the hit punishes that 6p goes for a cross of a <gasps> hand and safe to DP and it's then safe. the aerial it's throw safe. punish it oh my god just the action you get in Guilty Gear Strive man is unmatched that you, there's two crazy things to know about that, right? Mike Saftig did cross up DP, right? That's that's ridiculous. Second thing, it was a safe jump. Like what? Shen fell. How were you? How were you knowing that Mike Saftig, the madman that he is, was going to do a cross up DP? <laughs> Look, it was right? a, just easy read, bro. What can I say? <laughs> easy read. Like, that what? is a huge start here for Shin Phil. They're going to know the optimal combo. Clean 50% from that counter hit and. Uh, Okay. Saftig oh. finally gets him, but gets mixed on their own offense. Big throw tech and a bigger nice. hit. Oh, oh, oh. Get that conversion. Bounce him off the wall. Let's see that damage. Oh, the wake nice up close. Line. This is the thing, dude. Like, once you respect that parry, Bikens will just mash on wake up and make it real difficult for you. It's going to be a parry. PRCOS gets the hit afterwards, extends into the super, but it's not <gasps> going to be in range. And this means Mike Safting can run up with a punish. Extended oh. the throw, RC Ford, this should be burst oh, safe, but they didn't hold back! No bait, though. Damn. That's a shame. That's a shame. On to game three, will this be a 3-0? Well, round start will tell us. Shin Phil gonna get those plus frames. Backdash has been a three-frame anti -air. Pretty good from Sol, but you left a gap and you're gonna get gold bursted. You gotta worry about Viken on offense and defense, man. The character just does it all. Goes for the cross up of the three framer once again doing work. A wake up super. super gonna get you some reward here. Yeah. Decent damage on the board because you got the other bar. Pressure is certainly easy, especially in Soul oh. Bad Guy. But the raw vortex gonna catch your escape. Look at that damage. <laughs> the reward. the Make reward's it crazy. Hard, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> wake this up, use that. Bro, this is the thing about biking, man. We've seen so many wake up options. Wake up Mash, wake up Perry, wake up Super, wake up Rising Yozansen. You just can't track it all, man. This character, and, and man. Oh. Dude, wake up your Zansen feels like a psychopath move, and it always annoys me whenever I see it. I mean, the like, thing is, like, it's I gonna it. beat hesitation, and you're always gonna hesitate against this character. You jump too high, you're gonna get thrown. Shinfil runs up, we're gonna get back Ooh. thrown, and Mike Safdie gonna take the round. Yeah, head by there. Goddamn. Just like that, we're tying up. Still set point for Shinfil. Can they keep it going? Or will Mike Safdie make that comeback? He has, he does have that dog in him, right? Oh my Mike god. Got that dog. I mean, there's only one dog in here if you're looking at the name. That's all I'm saying. Big counter hit. Gets a knockdown. Easy safe jump here for Biken. Goes to the rising goes hands. He gets the hit. Fast cancel. Damn. Extension. Sets him across. But Mike Taftig's defense is looking too good. Gets the far slash confirmed. <gasps> PRC's back for the punish. But unable oh, no to get that punish. Yeah, he, he got the bait. No punish yet again. But at least he is again punished himself. That is the big thing. Play Nooch got caught oh in his God. 6P. Does Shin he die? Shinfield changed the aerial momentum there, able to punish the failed anti-air, nah. and takes the set 3-0. First match of top 8 loser side. We've got an exciting one, man. We got Lurie, super, super strong Faust, versus Medic, now going by the name Ordinary Magician on the Asuka. I'm very excited to see this because I've not seen any Asuka gameplay, man. I've not seen these, like, high-tier Asuka players since, uh, you know, since I've last been grinding strides, so. Yeah, but we're gonna see some Shadow Wizard money gang. There we go, I said it, I'm happy now. But, um, my god, this character, from what I've seen, the way people <laughs> laugh them, they can convert off of anything, man. They, they just can. jailed a run up 5D, that was looking like happy chaos for a second. Shut up. Shut up, we don't need to talk about him anymore, right? We don't need to talk <laughs> about him anymore. We don't need to think about him anymore. Come on, man. God, a big hit here for Lurie. Up. Breaks the wall with a 6H. Not going to be a hard knockdown, but tries to engage with the 2H. Not going to work. Zoning will commence. Oh, big Send sweep. Calls out the teleport. Going to be a YRC, though, but unfortunately, Trubbit, not going to go your way. Oh, uh, one of my favorite things, people have been memeing the cubes, sort of like Minecraft blocks. And then every time a cube comes out, they start going like, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you seen Is that, that the stuff? Minecraft theme? Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, like the very generic Minecraft people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The calm Wall soothing the teleport. One. Yeah. Gonna be a double jump. They're gonna try to change their bookmarks. Is that what they're called? <laughs> yeah, basically, they're trying to summon all five pieces of Exodia, right? So yes, of course, of course. They're using Pot of Greed to draw two more cards. <laughs> I, I wish I, I knew more about the character so I can talk about, like, the deck they're on or what they're looking for, but right now they seem to be on the weirdo deck. I know that because I haven't seen any of these before, and I believe they have teleport now, but they're not even going to need it. Oh they're just going to go for the full screen zoning. That seemed to do more damage than Meteor, so that was a little little disgusting. <laughs> I'm in the second match here. And so far, we've been seeing some solid Asuka gameplay, both using the cubes to mix, using the cubes to zone, and overall, rate utilization of the buffs and debuffs. And it's tough to do that. I've seen it. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of knowledge, and it seems like Medic, this practice is character enough oh to know God. how to utilize the cube. I mean, you know how to utilize the cubes here. It's really easy. Just send them out, right? This seems cool. incredibly disorienting for uh, Faust yep. here. You're like, how do you even get your game plan started here? How do you it looks like Asuka's yeah. zoning is also so good at anti-zoning because Faust can never get an item out. And when you're Faust without being able to throw items, you know, you're not the strongest of characters for sure. Uh-oh, because you're too deep so. as far. Yeah. Oh, nice little conversion here. Gonna be able to destroy some mana. Nice grab. Don't slip in the meaty banana peel. Meaty banana peel. Oh, it's real. The meaty, the meaty. Oh my god. Bro, the low 2p to low spot. Both players have a lot of meters. Gonna PRC forward. Gets the hit. Able to swap out some spells. Jumps over the super PRC back. 2k oh, gonna end here. Runs up with a strike throw. You're gonna have to hold that. Gets caught. Are you gonna burst in time? No. Nope. Nah, he's holding yeah. it. He's holding it. I think you have to hold that because I'm pretty sure Faust can set up a burst bait, which is exactly what Lurie just did there. Hi. And also looking at the mana, it was kind of low, so you can probably play a lot of spells in that type of situation, so I totally get it. But we're gonna send out some more cubes, get some rush down going. Oh, more cubes. He draws two more cards using Pot of Greed, another two more cards. I love it. He is just a Yu Yu character, bro. Oh. That was an odd one. What does that do? We got four legendary that. spells here, one of which I recognize as the overhead. We might be seeing that at some point. It's going to be a burst. Oh, he's mana. Was that a mana recharge? Yeah, it was. Trapped in the corner here, though. 
Oh no, they'll get caught and just like that we got a bomb setup. Not gonna be able to combo it, but no combo, but you do have the Oki. 5D going to be out of range. Close slash locks you down. Cancels the 5D into no the low, no but it's not going to break no the wall. You just do no, no damage as Faust. Do you get the hit here? I don't even know. No, you don't. Yeah, but no mana. You can't threaten nothing. <laughs> Ooh, you got grabbed. Hold that. There it is. Lurry ties it up one to one. Oh. On to game three. Both players have a game to their name. Faust just throwing an item from full screen, but you're a little silly going for that because, uh, of course, Asuka is going to stop you. A little goober, even. <laughs> yep, Asuka oh, holding no. on to a DP and some zoning, but they will be getting back to him. Once again, they have that DP. Does Lurie recognize it? Oh, yeah, Ace is a DP, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they didn't recognize That's it. Crazy. I, the thing is, like, Asuka has such a big buff against people that haven't labbed against them because, like, you just don't know what these spells do. Like, ideally, you know every single spell fighting against Asuka, and that enables you to make, like, decisions based on risk or war depending on what spells they have, right? But no one's yeah. able to lab this character like this. you got to be you a special the... kind of gamer to be able to go through all of these items and see what they do. No, I totally get that, but I think the next problem is a huge one, right? Never mind having the knowledge for it. The symbols are really small. You might not be able to notice that A symbol when you're mid pressure, you know? You might not be able to notice that. Teleport. A, a, like Nagomir, who just see where the red is. You you look at that oh. and you you need to process that, you know? This is a really clean sequence here from Lurie who oh, sets up died. Oh my god. Took you from left to the right side of the screen with just looping offense. Yeah. The Foss can do it if you jump. Don't jump. <laughs> Sending the thunder cube, but gets big, caught. Mm, yeah, big counter, but unfortunately not going to be in range there. Runs oh, directly effort. under the afro, able to get a throw. Sets up the staff, throws out some projectiles, and I believe this staff is slowing down the projectiles, right? Making it yeah. easy for you to follow up on them. Yeah, it makes it so you can get more rush down going. Essentially, it lets you do like the Chun Li setup where oh you put God. a projectile in front of you and then just rush behind oh it. Oh my now, believe... God, this is so dirty. So. Medic got really aggressive and then just teleported back to re-get all of their meter and to restock their cards. And you had no <laughs> chance! Man really did just summon Exodia for real. God that damn. was nasty, <laughs> dude. Big round start, gets the hit, swaps out some spells. Oh, yeah, as long as you're outside of that range, Faust can't really do anything about it. Okay. I believe what that does, it makes it so your projectiles are slower, number one. Second, it makes his jump height. Uh, I believe lower to the ground, or is it floatier? It's one of those ones. It's between the two. Oh, try play some nooch here. Gets a donut. Gonna send out the cubes. More cubes. Buffs. Oh my cubes. god. More cubes. Hold this these cubes. zoning damage is really adding up. It's gonna be a scarecrow. PRC. Able to get a hit, but unfortunately, More cubes. Oscar was holding. Oh, what happened? <laughs> I didn't see you. I blinked. I've. Uh, Okay, well, they dropped the combo. That's definitely good for Lurie. They probably went for a burst bait situation. Gonna More be cubes. able to block the teleport <gasps> in time, but no bait in the burst. Goes for the super. It is the oh, it's projectile <laughs> super. Goes, runs up for the overhead. Not gonna work. Mini foul should be able to control the ground here. Might deny some bookmarks, but they run under oh, and anti air. Medic goes up 2 1. On to game four. Yasuka is looking nasty right now. Gets the staff Oops, out. Projectiles. Should enable those slow projectiles. Exactly. But yeah. Lurie says, hey, I'm running him for their throw. And Lurie has historically been their best here in this matchup when they just get aggressive and are able to get in. Oh, damn. He's got two... Yeah, no. Nah. Okay, he's got two red things. Is that teleport? What is that? No, those are not teleport. They got one oh. zoning... I think all three of those things are projectiles. Oh, my God. He got caught. And look at that mana, he's gone. That means if he gets caught in one more mix here, he's essentially dead. Yep, and you're about to take extended damage. Yeah. Whew. There's so many things Damn. to manage as both players here. Like, you kind of have to change your route in a bit. Like, are they going to take more damage here? Make your decisions based on that. We have Asuka sitting here with some projectiles as well oh. as a DP. They're going to run forward, get a whiff. And you can see that as long as Asuka sits at full screen, they're completely safe to get whatever resources they want. Yeah, the resources, cube. It's up to them. It's like, maybe I might zone. That's so cheeky. Yeah, it was. Oh, my God. The projectile chases you into the sky. They back off, set out another projectile. Refill two more, goes for the Scarecrow. But, hey, you're right back to full screen. And Lurie just really can't seem to find a way in. Oh. <laughs> but Asuka will. Oh. You died. Spear. Did no damage. But the OTG will kill. I didn't even know you could OTG from that. That's crazy. There's a lot That's we don't know.
just like that. So much or a magician. Two old. No, sorry, I better win this set. Two one. Oh, two right teleports. You might see something funky here. Oh, fast projectiles. And by the way, neat fact about the fast projectiles, they are now guard crushes. Yes. That's gross. Massive deal. Massive deal. So the offense just gets insane then, huh? Yeah, pretty much. All in the teleport just lets you get away from that. That's so gross, bro. Why you, why you got this? Why you got this? Ooh. Medic try to get out. Unfortunately, they're going to be caught. Lurie runs up, goes for the close slash, mix, mix, mixes in, has to RC to stay safe, goes for the 2k, 2d, 6h, and what a jump there to avoid the projectile, oh, no runs mana. in again, and Medic continuously getting caught, but they find their way out, they bait the gold burst, get the hit, refill the red cards. No mana. No mana. Run out of mana. You need to charge up. That's it. That's it. The shield is gone now, and just like that, Lurie oh, can murder you. He can absolutely kill you now. There it is. And we're all tied up, two to two. Slum? Take it away. On to game five of this fun set. 6H gonna get a counter, and unfortunately, it's gonna be a bad burst there for Medic, but a huge 6H here for Lurie, and this should enable some offense. Items finally looking like they're gonna do something. Unfortunately, gets a trumpet, and Medic is doing such a good job at reading those Afro throws, or just love throws. Yeah. Oh, gonna send out all the cubes that he wants. He challenged them. Uh oh. But like, oh, the Vortex. Did not get sucked into that. All those projectiles will just eat you up, so it's best to stay away from it right now. Oh, the big throw. So Medic is definitely using jump the most as a defensive option, so if I'm Lurie here, I'm just trying to stagger and beat jumps. Yeah. Gonna go for air throws, gonna call out your jumps from uh, good meaties. That seems to be a good idea. Uh oh. Lurie might regret not breaking this wall. Oh my god, it's gonna be a back throw. Wait, Oscar might end up winning this. 5D gets the hit, free extension, no meter required, and the sphere. That felt incredibly undeserved. <laughs> that uh, was mean, Asuka gaming, dude. <laughs> hey, just, just command grab there, bro. Like you lost that back throw. Like that's on you, chief. Oh. Okay, that's gonna oh. trade with a 6P for some <gasps> reason. Able to throw out some items. Unfortunately, Lurie has not 6P. gotten good RNG. I feel like you kind of need meteors here to get a chance to get in. Mini Faust gonna get deleted. Runs oh, under, JD. JD gonna stop. Oh my cross god, an up. immediate cross up. Lurie doing the most right now. Close slash, what Antio the? chase again with a mix, mix, mix. And, oh my god, back another throw. back throw. Oh, oh, he calls upon Exodia. He has all the cards he needs. Made it. Oh, they spy RC. Oh. oh no. Oh, he just backs off, sets up the guard crush. And I believe he has this new move. They let some bootmark certain amount of spells that he wants right now. Oh, nice shooting him back. Many Foss though, you gotta be scared. Dude, he did not respect Many Foss and just like that. Tying it up on the double Luigi backpack. Yep, the final game, Luigi. final round. And it all comes down to this projectile gonna get the early hit, runs in. One thing by the way, Luria has to watch out for, you don't want to be back thrown anymore. That absolutely cost you that game and potentially the set. So you gotta keep things tied here. You're gonna get a knockdown, you back off, because you're not necessarily plus there. Gets the hit with a scalpel. Ooh. Breaks the wall, that's gonna be huge damage mana. here, and mana is so mana. low, yeah. and the cards are kinda gone too. Uh oh, uh oh, you got caught. Can't get you hit again. Caught. Great get block hit. there for Medic. Runs out with the 2k, 2d. Teleports into the low, but fortunately, Medic gonna get that burst oh, in time. Mana. Yeah, he's got his mana now. He's just gonna be a little bit more tanky, and it is fast. Meaning he could probably survive two more interactions at best. This comeback is definitely possible, especially if they continuously uh, throw oh, out these the good items. Notice that their okay, mana is going up right now, so they are free to just throw out items if they'd like. They go for a teleport, cross up, oh get the God. hit. Sets up a soul pro projectile, but Lurie's oh, no. waiting for it. You pick it up with a close slash, you take him to the corner the and end with the super. It's not gonna kill, but you do get that hard knockdown if you burst bait, the set's over. Yeah. Oh, tries to keep on pressure, and again, he is looking for bars. There it is. And that's it. That's but, it. Oh, you didn't no get pick it, up. No. YRC runs up the 5P. No pickup again. 2K, 2D. Mini Faust sets up the strike throw. BRC fights the, the BRC gun. back the throw. Back throw to close out back the set. Throw. And Medic takes oh. it. Final match of top eight loser side. We have Kaneki on the Kai versus Aegis on the Batman. The character variety today has been amazing. I love watching Bedmans, man. Their setups are just clean. Bedman, man. Bedman, man. Yes. Oh I was, I was saying, man, to you. You know, you know how it is. Yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> oh, Cancels spear. into the super, and you know what? While we were goofing That's off, so cool. Aegis gonna absolutely steamroll. 
Wait, is that another spear super? Wait, now that I think about it, three characters in oh. a row got a spear super. It's like a literal spear, like you know, like you got Sin with the the um the, the tyrant rave where he places a spear and then he punches it. Bro, we're got this character you, bro. We love spear out in their ass. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah. My lord, Danny. No, not Danny, can you You got caught. <laughs> on to game Up two. We, we got to focus more on the match, bro, because last <laughs> we didn't even see what happened. We were just talking. I, All right, so Aegis, I, I, he I, used I, those plus frames, gets in there, but it's going to be a drop that's going to allow Kaneki to challenge, gets up the far slash, burst out. Oh. Jumps over the lightning, big stuff, and just like that, Kaneki is then putting on the pressure, goes for the scum dipper, but has the meter, and it's just going to go on the offensive. Nice jump resets. The defense looking so clean right now. It's going to be an appropriate match. Going to keep yourself plus. Goes to the rising. Sets up the many overheads the into the fuzzy afterwards. 6P takes you out of the sky. And this right here should be some pressure here for Bedman. They're going to go for a stagger. Wanted to wait for that DP. Fast cancel into the plus frames. Easy pick up to the corner. Not going to kill. Yeah. And look at that damage, man. Only got one HP to your name. And they're going to get caught by the 2P. Another sphere move, might I add. I'm just saying. There's a lot of spheres in this game. After season two. All right, goes for the guard crush. <laughs> you had to bring that up ball. again. Another spear, <laughs> may I add. Uh, <laughs> Look at the oh. corner carry here, Aegis. Uh, takes you to the corner, but unfortunately, Kaneki challenges out, and now we're back to mid-screen. You're back to the wall. 5D threatens the overhead. Fast cancel to break Ooh. it. Yeah, and look at that damage. Pretty solid, pretty decent. Just like able to keep the pressure up. Good tech on the throw from Aegis. You can use the BRC, try to get out, but the YRC denying your aggression put you back into the corner that 6p was kind of gnarly there the 2p whipped and they were able to get the 6p not gonna be able to pick up here this should be an easy punish oh. but no Batman oh. actually covers in time they're gonna end with the projectile follow up gonna get the hit baits the dp are you gonna burst yes you will jumps over the projectile sets it up nicely back throw oh, incident go. and this makes this for your life oh or you can just extend this right here is DP save, ball. runs up 2k, 5d, next hit will close the out the round. And you find oh, it with oh, the projectile. Oh, Aegis oh, up 2-0. Oh. Nuh-uh. <laughs> anyway, on to I'll match three, Aegis yeah. on set point. That's going to be a bait. They're going to go for a run-up throw instead of that 2k, 2d from a back throw. They're going to be able to set up the safe jump. Easy pressure here, fast cancel. Going to frame trap as well, force the burst out. What brilliant yeah, exactly. use of that follow-up. It was clever because, you know, going straight over the H projectile, one of the best stars. Definitely good to start that off from there. I oh, think this might be the, the most intelligent, like, use of the follow-ups that I've ever seen from Bedman. They're getting so oh, much yeah. value every single time. They're mixing up their approaches. They're staying out of projectile oh range God. in the air, and their offense is insane! Fuzzy. I can't Fuzzy. keep praising this Bedman enough! Did you block that? I know I didn't. No, obviously Got not. That. Goddamn Insta overhead. I didn't know we were playing Street Stalsum. Oh. Shooting at the projectile and the 6P avoiding it, allowing it to stay in right now. Kinecki's just gonna keep the pressure on. Nice stuff here. Goes for the jump H. Gonna keep on the pressure with these resets. And you see Aegis is looking to dash block, trying to catch something punishable, maybe get an IB on something punishable as well. Runs up with the plus frames, fast cancel, sets up an overhead. That's a knockdown. This should be DP safe as Damage. well. Walks forward, goes for the throw, but Kaneki with a back dash into a big RC combo. Tries to get you to the corner, but Aegis sitting here with a follow-up. Did you guys show overhead, us why those you briars? You guys show us why those briars are so sacred. Come on, Kaneki, <laughs> bring it back. RC, oh, no. this should be burst save until you take him to the corner, but the wall bounce gonna whiff. Gets the gold burst. Kaneki not out of it yet. Gets the why did Stun Dipper win there? That it's was Stun wild! Dipper, <laughs> it's Stun Dipper, bro, you know. Is it gonna kill That's yes good. no? No, Ooh. it doesn't. I mean, this is good Oki though. It's very good Oki. 5D oh, barely gonna be in range, but an insane block from Aegis, who gets the knockdown. Should be able to keep the safe here. Walks out with a 5D should <gasps> be an easy block here into oh. a punish. And Kaneki. Takes the round, needs one more though to get on the board. The smelly elbow every time. I love it. Like, bro, you know that's gotta be smelly, bro. The amount of people he's caught with that thing. Nice DP. Nice change. And I love it. You followed him to get the punish. Big stuff. Can I keep in the corner? You can keep her off that. Ooh, okay, getting bursted away, but does have the bar to stay in. I like that. Oh my god, Aegis just, just looking for the ants here. Now they're going to run out the F plus frames here, but not too many plus frames. And Kaneki recognizes that, tries to RPS for the jump, but finds himself stuck anyways. Rising Ooh. overhead, stays plus again. 
And the, nice oh my DP. god, the horizontal range of that DP is so good, and it might lead to Kaneki taking this round. They run up with the 5k, chasing the throw, <gasps> but it's going to be back dashed. Aegis here, gonna have a DP safe option. They do it, run up, far slash, should be punishable oh, here, and yes, Kaneki gonna get on the board. On to game four. Obviously, Aegis gonna stick with the bed, man. Things are working very well for them right now. Their follow up gonna be erased from existence. Gonna be a bit of a trade with these projectiles. And it looks like Kaneki's gonna go for a more zoning based game plan right now, as Kai obviously gonna do much better in that front. Oh, having the block bat. Nice challenge with the 2P, though. Gonna get it. Yeah, Ooh, fast cancel. Run. That is gonna lead to a gap, though. Kaneki finds it with the DP, extends. Burst gone for Aegis. Yeah, just like that try approaching. <laughs> nice 2H confirmed, though. They keep that on that crazy pressure. Run up 2H up. there, man. Stun Dipper should be a free punish here. It's that good, bro. It's just Sweet that good. does set up. Yeah, meaty 2H here. Nice little pickup. Takes it to the corner. There should be a safe jump here with a JS. It is safe, but, you know, Kanaki is going to use that RC to stay in and, uh, you know, get out of yeah. the corner. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I think Aegis can kill, but no. Oh, man. You got to love how Aegis has been using the little, like, pin shot every time to call out, like, jump ins or Fuji art. It's so clever. It's so clever. Yeah, it's very clever, but, uh, yeah, that DP was not. That's going to be a free punish there for Aegis. Gets the burst out of the way. At least he got them in the corner. And, oh, my God. If you, the thing is, like, I think if you play a little safer on your offense here as Kai, you're going to have much longer turns. Right now, they're trying to overextend, and Aegis' defense is just so good whenever you go for these Fuji arcs or neutral jumps. Yeah. Oh my god. Got that nice damage on the board. Yeah, it is looking good for Kaneki, but being put in the corner here, not so much. Getting the bar goes for the 5D and is blocked. And you're not going to have much meter going to this round here. Uh -oh. And you're shooting a projectile out against someone who's got a stronger one. Oh, you know no. what this is. You might be dead. You know what you this is. Dead. You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> bro, it's a better install, bro. It's a better install. Yeah, the bed install is ridiculous, and Aegis will be taking the set 3 1. First match of top six loser side, we got two steamroll characters here in uh, Gold Lewis versus Asuka. Now, you know, I'm, I haven't really played this matchup much as Gold Lewis, so I can't really say, but uh, I he will say as, this as, as long Lewis as the Magician really doesn't have save. DP, you're probably feeling pretty good when you're doing offense. He's got a DP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this round's over, but uh, <laughs> next round, maybe oh they don't God. get a DP, though. <laughs> Oh, dude, the cubes are so suffocating. <gasps> oh, my. imagine showing somebody this clip. Before Strive came out, this is how they introduced Strive. It's like, nah. Guilty Gear Strive revealed coming in June of 2021. And it's just this clip. Wait, what June? What day? 21st? I, I don't remember when the game came out. I'm sorry. Uh, let's, let's say 21st. Oh, my God. That's my birthday. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. Oscar oh, with the easy pickup. What takes you out of the sky. That... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Fireball comes oh, out, oh gonna go for the cross on two. What was dude. that? Dude, what the? Oh my god. What? Gets the hit, not gonna be able to kill. Should have been with the super for sure. Gonna teleport oh back, throws out that projectile super, and it will be Ordinary Magician taking game one. Ooh. On Second game match two, here. and here we go. Goldust finally gets an opportunity to play the game. Unfortunately, Backdash is in Guilty Gear Strive. We hate to see that. Drone comes out. Should be able to make a lot of space here, but really nice spacing there from Ordinary Magician. Bro, how does... How does... How does one... Right? Like, I can imagine Pot, like, hitting and having far-reaching neutral, right? What, what is going worse, though? What, what, uh, does, what does well, man No, th this is why they have to revert the drone changes. Honestly? <laughs> but the I character agree. like this in the game, you know, maybe it's maybe it's balanced. <laughs> yeah. Goes oh no! Dash he summons his most forbidden card. We got two te three teleports here. What? The Hold heck? the L, chump. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a goddamn oh. boss character in like neutral, a last loop fighting game. Neutral, that was a perfect. What even happened? Bro, you wanna know something? He perfected them in the last match. This is a double perfect, essentially. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, the staff comes out with that. It's going to be a knockdown. Burst immediately. You got to hold that still. Drone. Going to give you a knockdown, not a hard knockdown. Jumps in with a JD. Oh, gets a them. counter. This is it. They don't have burst. Oh my god, you miss inputted. The, this is the Gold Lewis curse, bro. You get in once and you miss input. Now the game's over. Fortunately, yeah. though, 
Laser Wait, just get some buffs and they should give you a free turn here. Try to go for a wire C bait. Unfortunately, you guys are the wrong time. Oh my god. Oh, oh my no, god. this looks like I would say the range. And yeah, the cubes. By pixel. More cubes. More cubes. Cube neutral. More cubes. Oh More my god, they just kept comboing. <laughs> the burst comes out. Gun not going to give you a knockdown here. Tries to react to the teleport. Gets caught. And this is Ordinary Magician going up 2-0. On a game three, will Alex get a chance to play? Not this nope. time. <laughs> nope. Gets uh -uh. caught with the aerial projectile. Projectile is still coming out. Should be able to pick up here. Nope, they're going to opt to just keep their resources high. And you know what? That is a, a good option to go for. 2 p Going to deny that. Going to get zucked here by the Vortex. What oh is going God. on Wait, here? Oh, the Vortex is pushing them back. God damn. Oh, it's a push away. Yeah, I think it's the opposite of a suck. It's a, it's a push. Running low. They do have a teleport here. If they wake up teleport, that would be quite evil. Gold Lewis finally getting an opportunity for offense. And now the, the matchup should have looked a little closer now that, uh, yeah, Gold Lewis won. Oh, my God. Dude, what? The extra bro, health. Bankier than pot, bro. What yeah, I, I forgot about that. Yeah, okay. So as long as you manage your mana correctly, you're going to have so much HP. You should be able to tank a couple of hits from Gold Lewis. But, yeah, I don't see Asuka winning this round. Bro. I find it so messed up that he's tankier than Pot, but also simultaneously takes more damage than Chip. Like, you you just, you just, like, the duality of man and the one character. Oh my oh god, my what god, a reaction to teleport! Up. But unfortunately, it's a misinput and that might cost you the game! It's a misinput. It's a misinput. It was a misinput. Mis mis <laughs> oh. Far Slash will be able to PRC in here, sets up the offense, try to beat that burst, gets a hit. There's the burst. I hope you weren't ready for more cubes. <laughs> I was. <laughs> Big jump in. That's a knockdown. They actually didn't confirm it. It should be a knockdown anyways, though. Okay, this is it. Goldos wins from here, and we should be seeing another game. Uh-uh. Oh, wait. No. Yeah, the shield's down. God damn, you're right. Nice comeback Jesus. there from Alex. They, they played valiantly. They're able to get in the board. <laughs> On to Whoa. game four. Alex did well when they got that knockdown, and there wasn't DP on the table. You know what? Look at the items. Oh. We hate this right oh, now. Yeah. You have to deal with yeah. burst and DP now. Jesus Christ. Oh, those yeah, look like some good help. items. His drone died. His drone dies to that. His As drone dies to that. Able to IB the 6A4 in time. PRC forward gets the hit. Has a turn here. Just don't get gold bursted. Okay. Getting the blue burst out of the way. That's completely fine. DP's gone as well. You are going to have to hold an overhead though at some point. Oh, sends out the drone. I, I, does drone even be good in this matchup? It just dies. Drone looks incredibly bad in this matchup, which is why I would recommend to save your uh, meter. I don't minigun. even know what it's called, and I play gold list. Yeah, use minigun. <laughs> oh, missed times oh. to throw. Doesn't matter. It was an unblockable. Yeah. God. Very important when you deal with Gold Lewis's unblockable setup, you have to jump, you can't backdash, because Drone is just going to knock you out. Wait, I thought you had to take the throw. You can also jump, I believe. Oh, okay. But you're going to lose the strike. Okay. Jumps over, oh. gets caught with the projectile. Man, that projectile is nasty as top and jumps. But you know what? That's a knockdown, and you know what? I think Alex won. The man is about to go away for 1080. Wait, will it kill? Say, Jack. Will it kill? Say, where are you? <laughs> wow. 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 Oh. What the f What? <laughs> We're going to see a game five. Oh. This set is getting what it deserves. A game five between these two players. What will come out on top? The zoning or the offense? I'm going to set up the staff, has some items, and oh. they're holding on to the DP this time. You don't want to give it up. It is so important. Going to be a knockdown with the sweep. Continuously, teleport. oh my god, yeah, what a fantastic teleport there to get that hit and get the burst out from Alex. I'm so shocked from that. What? That what, what is this? Why did they it's make the that? Like, what is the point of that? Oh, DP. Um, right, so if Gold Lewis gets stuck in that, he dies. Oh. So don't jump in that range and the cubes will murder you, essentially. Oh, oh yeah, that seems rough. Yeah. That's only plus three, you can backdash that easily. So it throws nope, out the slow projectile, cube. and yeah, once again, drone is just not it, Alex. You, you gotta listen to the stream, bro. Don't use drone. Runs up with a 6 8 4, gets a knockdown. Just don't let them burst. Gonna be able to backdash out of the overhead. Cubes. Tries to go for the gun, gets caught by the cube, and Ordinary Magician is on set point. Knockdown. Bro, you're, 
Your pitiful bullets are no match to my cubes. <laughs> that's that is all this man is saying right now. Jesus. Oh my Christ. god, I got sucked! Man. Okay, you're good. Oh my god, you're okay, you're not good. I think you're trapped. Can we get the carpy sound effect for that thing? Oh, teleport right in front of you! On. Oh my god. The man is low though. If Goldos can get a knock down here, I mean it'll be devastating here for Asuka. Oh yeah, definitely, but um Chase how... is, but <laughs> <laughs> the teleport when you finally have a chance, runs up, gets a pickup, try to bait that burst, throws and he out draws items, two more cards. And man is and he rising. Two more cards. The mana right now is just rising. You can just continuously throw out these two items. More cards. Runs up, gets the hit. Cubes. How do how do you make a comeback wait, from this? Wait. wait. That's how you make a wait. comeback here. Wait. Walks the low, wait, that's no. plus 16. PRC's in. Goes to the overhead, gets the hit. Goes to the overhead, gets the hit. But you know what? You're not no going to kill because that mana. It would have no killed mana. without it, though. The mana. No okay. Mana. Runs the oh, my God. Goldos won. Goldos actually wins this round. No yep. mana. Why would you leave oh. a gap? My brother. You had two strike throw there, and they chose to leave a gap. You just had the 6-8-4. Oh, no. You just had the 6 8 Bro, they had the positive bonus on anything. Okay. Well, that's it. Ordinary Magician takes us at 3-2. And you know what? That was just... A real treat to watch. Not me. Anyway, go on. Final match of top six loser side. We got Mike Safdig versus Aegis on the bed, man. Mike Safdig gets a little aggressive here. Backs off, gets caught by the far slash. Yeah, and then we're back into Nooch. Just gonna keep shooting at him. Is that the play, though? Yes, it is. He's gonna get in just like that. He's gonna keep on the pressure. Nice JS and Mike Safdig having to use the bar. Just gonna get in, gonna put on that pressure now. And here we got the soul. Bad guy, classic pressure scheme right here. Oh no. Hold the throw, they said. <laughs> Hold the throw, they said. <laughs> okay, you're gonna go for a jump. Somehow makes it up with the gun flame, gets caught with the other one. 2S, 5H gets in there once again. Is gonna stagger into these throws and they're oh, okay, back dash, oh, back throw. Batman gonna have a chance for a win condition here. Goes to the multi-hitting overhead. YRC. Oh, oh it's like out of the, the corner. Bay, PRC4, like this should bay. be a guaranteed punish. Oh my god, he knows he knows you're fake as hell. Hold the Fafnir 6H. God damn. If you don't micro dash forward there, then I believe it should be deep DP safe. Really? Damn. So he just messed up the micro dash, right? No, no, if oh, you sorry. don't, they, they, do yeah, they went yeah, for micro dash because they wanted to stay closer for their offense. But yeah, they made themselves vulnerable. Wake up, go for the burst. Lock that, should be a free punish here. Yeah, that spacing was perfect. But you see, you don't get offense if you don't micro dash, so that's why it matters. Far slash hit in the air. This should lead to a free conversion into a safe jump, but a wake up 5k gets Mike Safdie out of the situation. RC's forward, tries to bait the burst, but it's gonna miss time the bait. Oh, the vortex again. Oh, Fafinir. Holding on that pressure, but a great mash out from uh, Aegis here. Just like that, we're back into Nooch. Gonna start Install. shooting at him. I knew it was coming. As oh, soon yeah. as that barbell, like, this round's over. Oh, good block. Okay, nice, nice. I really like, like that. that. So, yeah, so, so Mike Safdie actually expected Bedman to activate the follow-up, so they went for a run and punish, right? But yeah, yeah. Aegis actually opted to just play defensively and let them whip, like let them do something unsafe. Yeah, really smart move clever. there. It was clever. Like you want to call that type of things out. Oh. Big super jump there, Mike Safdie with the oh. air throw. We're playing some guilty gear. Fast cancels. Should be able to keep this gapless here. Goes to the 2K 2D. YRC comes out. Back dashes the command grab. Resets you in the same situation. Free safe jump here. Actually, it uh, goes for an oh, empty throw. Oh, yeah. Oh, good back dash for making just like that. It's Mike's turn. Never main. Hold the back throw. GG's. <laughs> back throw is going a little too hard today. <laughs> going into the second match here. And it seems like Aegis is off to another good start. And it seems like Mike's after can't catch a break on these round starts. Oh, nice XP. Nice little Back challenge there. Going to get a counter at 2D. Runs in, and the JD going to take you out of the sky. Nice confirm as well. Should be able to be plus here. Fast cancels into the plus frames. Stays in there. Tries to go for the run up throw, but Mike Zaptig's defense looking too good. Takes you out of the sky. 5D going to be out of range. PRC needs to stay safe, but Batman going to get that back throw, set up a safe jump, but they're going to press the wrong aerial button. And with the throw, Mike Zaptig with a huge punish here to force the burst out from Aegis. Oh, but just like that, punish on the vortex, and now Aegis is the one that's gonna take the aggression on, but gets caught by the 5D. Not gonna be able to kill though, right? Oh Not gonna be able God. to kill, right? That damage. But it's, it's still, it's, it's, it's kind of tiny for Soul though. Not gonna lie. I'm so jealous of Soul combos. They're just the coolest. 
They are, but then you don't want to do them. You just want to do all the like the the pogo DB combos. You know, you just want pogo stick. That, that's why I like doing it, at least. The oh. counter hit, nice confirms. That's oh. the FNAF near. <laughs> the FNAF horror, 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 horror. <laughs> Six says definitely hit. Gets you a hard knockdown. Jumps in there with a JH back dashes. Goes for the shimmy. Gets a counter hit. Should have the super to break the wall here. Is are they too high? No, okay. no, no. It's perfect. It's Ooh. perfect. That was a little spooky. Yeah. Oh, nice to okay. Ends its XP conversion, and just like that, makes have to take the round, making it so he actually has something going on here. Oh, all right, good burst. Goes for the vortex. Oh Very my raw. lord! And another raw burst, bro. My man is so raw. Yeah, really fantastic burst bait there, but you left a gap, and Mike's have to gonna take advantage of that. Tries to go for the. Yeah, tried to shimmy you out again, but this time Aegis is looking for it. Challenges out. Ends up in the corner. Nice little conversion here for Mike Saftig, who's going to get some offense. Yeah, he's keeping the corner right now. Very clever stuff and backs up, but getting caught for it. Just like that, Aegis is the one that's going to get started. Look at that pressure, man. It's almost like it's never ending, but the 2S plays so well. Not going to be able to kill, right? No, he's not. Oh, kill. not going to break the wall, but the close slash going to okay. get you the hit. And Mike Saftig was so, like, the hindsight you need, or the foresight you need, to challenge the 2S to deny the 2K into the follow-up plus frames, just a really mm. good challenge. And you know what? They won that game from that read. I don't, I don't blame you, bro. On to game three. Runs up to the 6P. Gets a counter hit. Gets the burst out from Aegis. Gets in there. Oh, my God. Runs it in. And you know what? We're back to Nooch. Yeah. Ooh, getting caught by the Zappy. Just like that, we're back into Nooch. But a big 6 H on the air. Sorry, 6S. I keep thinking it's a H. I don't know why. You know? You got that? You got what I mean? Uh, no. Headbutt. You're insane for believing that. I would never believe that. Oh, Fafnir, insane. gonna break the wall. 5H. Yeah. Gets ya. <laughs> Safting <laughs> takes the fast round. Aegis still doesn't have that burst, but will win the round start. Oh my oh. lord, the spacing on that uh. was wild, unfortunately. Not gonna get that punish, but does get the burst from Mike Safting. Man's playing like a platinum Brazilian can, bro. He is not afraid to just DP on aggression. POV, you left a gap against old bad guy. <laughs> ura, ura. And then POV, you tried to answer your soul bad guy. And then POV, oh you tried to do anything against soul bad guy. POV. Then POV, you get burst faded. Oh my god, I knew it was coming too. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, Mike Saptic didn't read the burst, but JS gets a hit. Aegis not out of here yet. Back to Nooch, gets oh. it with JS, needs one more, but oh, so does Mike. Oh. This might actually be it if they can get the right conversion. No, the wall's gonna Ooh. break too early. Ooh, very big damage. And like that, just one more interaction, just a bandit. You know, that's such a risky option, but the reward on counter hit is so high. And Mike Safta gonna go up 2-1 in the set. All right, thank you, thank you. Going into the fourth match here, Mike Safta, Turning things around, and now he's the one in the lead with a 2-1 advantage, and bro, now he's taking the round starts. He's taking it, he's keeping the aggression. DP on offense, this man is not right in the head. Um, actual No soul bad guy <laughs> is. Oh my <laughs> god, Mike Saftig is doing everything right now. They're gonna stay in. The guesses with the DPs are going so hard. They should be able to get another strike throw here. And you know what, you're dead. Still my heart is blazed. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say, bro. My man did not care. Run up with a 6 he, he That's knew. a counter. You're trapped in the corner. Fafnir got to hold the plus frames. Runs up the 6S. Probably try to go for a command grab. I'm not sure. Finally, a cell bad guy realizes how strong it is to have an involved move anytime, anywhere. Uh oh, oh Aegis no. goes to the bait, though. Really not solid read there. Takes you to the corner. Sets up the install. I believe they carded as well. Yeah, they did. Oh my god, this is disgusting! That was disgusting! Oh, uh, he just slumps down. <laughs> Ooh, just like that, Age has shown some life. Wants to bring it back to that 2 2. Of course he does. Of course he does. Nice little oh, neutral no. jump, gets the counter at JS and a knockdown. Are you gonna dash forward? Yeah, wanted to stay safe from that DP. Mike Saftig just oh. gonna back off, gets the hit with a slide, takes you to the oh. corner, should be able to close oh. enough for the oh. wall bounce here. Huge damage and offense. You then block low jump <laughs> if I've been here. Look at that damage. Pretty decent for a 2k conversion. Oh my it's god! Back. Mike Saftik was bars. walking back there. The PRC throw surprisingly whiffed, but we are going to see. You know what? The bed install, dude. 
Oh my god. That's a hit. You have an opportunity to burst bait. Are you gonna let it happen? No. Oh, still my heart is no blazing. No way, you would punish 2P here. Able to jump in time, PRC runs up, goes to the <laughs> throw, and Mike Safting takes the set. Winners finals, we've got Shin Phil and Danny. Looks like Danny gonna get started early, gets in with the frame trap, no pickup. Both players flying around, lands. <laughs> with the tatami mag, gets a gold burst, and Shin Phil gonna do a lot with his meter. Ooh, oh my god, he's gonna send you forward. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, though, gets aggressive with the 6P, gets a knockdown, tries to jail into the lows, but Shin Phil gonna be a little patient on defense. Goes to the parry OS, close off, able to take you out of the sky. What a huge burst bait. Yeah, and just like that, gonna keep on the pressure. Oh, what? I like the play from Danny playing to the air, backing off of the JS. Very good retreating move. Oh, it's my got the God. two bars. Can he kill? Defense looking so clean on both sides, but you know what? Reacting to a raw 5D into RC is just too difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm seeing people talking about my setup. One said, seek God. The second saying, Jesus, what is that meant? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a look at it after this. Drops the Tommy uh, Matt, jumps him to the JS. A huge 6P there from Danny. They were waiting for it. Lands the JH. Copy the 2S. Oh, nice Kabari. And just like that, good again. Shinfeld putting on the pressure. And, you know, Shinfeld has mad damage. They know how to capitalize so hard with Bacon. Not going to be a knockdown. Able to RC, though, to stay in. Catch you, Ozanta, going to keep you a plus, God. but the DP going to deny the turn. Yeah, Parry can't do that, that's for sure. Oh, my God. Oh, BRC in. But the 2P confirmed. Jesus. Scum Dipper. Oh, my God. You got <laughs> caught just like that. Danny says 1-0. -oh. <laughs> so we take those. Anyway, on second two. match here. Oh, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, me, oh, me. Second match here. And it seems like Danny's the one that's going to be the aggressor. Big bait on the bars. And look at that damage. Capitalize, Danny. Capitalize. Who said Kai doesn't do damage, dude? I need to see the liars. No one says that. No one says Everyone that. Everyone says that. You said that. No one says that. Everyone says it. No, no, no. They, they say Melia doesn't do damage. D4C Chet says it. Damage. Okay. Who, who the hell is D4C? Is that, oh, did I get the name wrong? I mean, no, that is the name, but like, you know, I'm trying to prove a point. Oh, okay, is, you <laughs> okay dude. You just who mega load them. Jumps up the JS, 5k to pick it up. Takes it to the corner. Tried to extend, but the burst gonna stop it. <laughs> oh, big conversion. Yo, look at that. Oh, damage. And now you need one more interaction and Kel goes for the BRC, tries to bait something. Oh, my Unfortunately, God. Unfortunately, Shen is in. Man, biking close slash so good right now. Gonna get a hit. Should be able to set up a safe jump here, but they're gonna go for the run up throw. Left, right for your life. It was a cross up overhead, but the wires, he comes out in time, gets the hit, and Danny's up 2 0. On to game three. Danny gonna get an early hit. What an incredible air to air pickup there. Wow, they knew the extension. Shin Phil gonna find a gold burst once again, gets him with the overhead. Tried to extend, burst gonna come out. Oh. oh, damn. Keeping on the pressure. Oh, my God. Tries to back off. Nice JS, but going to get caught with the far slash. It's just like that Danny is keeping on the pressure. Oh, massive damage. Shinfil is doing a really good job of controlling the aerial space right now, but I think it's not really bothering Danny that much because they're opting to get aggressive on the ground. Yeah. Oh, nice overhead. Just like that. Danny is trapped in the corner. He does have dragon install. But I don't think Danny's that guy right now. He wouldn't. Yeah, see? He knows Dragon Install could have killed, but isn't gonna because he doesn't want to make me happy. For real. He, he's uh, just that guy. Boo hoo for Panda, dude. I just am with the eye. Bro, Plays me in the sky, Shinfil. Takes you down. Oh my god, how do you know about this combo? Gonna drop. Goes for the 2D to Tommy. Gonna break the wall. Oh, damn. Oh, keeping on the pressure. Nice 2K into throw. Just like that, gonna keep on the pressure. Oh, good tech though. Far slash confirm, gonna use the mirror. Baits the burst and just like that, it's gone. It is gone. You know, Shinfield does have two bars to work with though. And you know, you can really never count out Biken. Their steamroll factor is just Honestly, too yeah. strong. But at this point, you're gonna die to a single DP from Kai. So that's something you have to worry about. Goes for the cross up. Oh, the burst. Burst. Locks you down, oh, RC, <gasps> baits the super. Baited. And Danny will be moving on to grand finals. Four. Floor, floor, yeah, stay. 
big stuff from Danny. That's a big Frio. And just like that, Shinfeld will be heading to losers. Gonna have to make the comeback. Loser semifinals. We have Mike Saftig versus Ordinary Magician. The aggression wouldn't work for Alex. But Mike Saftig, you know, might be able to get a little craftier. You know, Soul's a lot more movement options to deal with these projectiles. A lot faster moves to punch the cubes. So we'll see how it goes. They're able to get in, get punished though by the low. Ops to just go for some uh, bookmarking rather than a punish. Oh, tries well, to jump in to get caught. Blocks the overhead. Oh my god, imagine blocking an overhead. That's crazy. <laughs> nice DP. Gonna keep on the pressure. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, the cubes. The cubes are doing things. What? What? What is it? Why is? Why is it going up and down? What? What happened? Did I mess up it? I'm not sure what you're talking about, to be honest, but DP will be baited, but they're not close enough to get confirmed. This might cost them the round. Ordinary Magician, oh, just oh, gonna hold oh. on to the damage. Gonna hold on to that Bristol Ball, try to backdash, but Mike Saftig's offense looking clean. Their mana is full right now, so if they just get the opportunity, they should be able to close out this round with spells. Oh, nice change. Bum, 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 bum. Super? Oh, the conversion. Surely you die. Tyrant. Oh my Today. god. The extra health is actually so strong for Asuka. It's going to keep him alive. But the low going to close out the round. And, you know, I'm very surprised that Ordinary Magician lost that round. They were way in the lead. Just failed to anti or Mike Saftig when they approached in the air. Yeah. Bro, I, I, did we need to mention this, man. Mana being tied to your defense is crazy, right? That is it's ridiculous. strong, man. It seemed like a weakness at first, but oh the, my God. like having that massive amount of HP, oh my God, runs up with a 5D. Easy extension here. Should be a ton of damage. Should also have some time to do some bookmarking. They throw out a spell, lock you down. Only one spell, though, to their name, and I'm not sure which one that is. It's going to be the big slow cube. And Soul going to go right under. And they cover every angle, I believe. Yeah, this is well, the fast um, cube. Yeah. Oh, oh, no mana, no mana. You need get mana back. So after this mana, you're not. Oh wait, no, that killed. Oh my god, I was. I'm so used to that super doing like no damage. It's pretty good off single hit confirms by the looks of it. Yeah. Oh, oh that off. was greedy, but it's gonna work out. They have three of these good spells. Yeah, well, those things are strong. Oh. It's the big fireball. Oh, the guard crushes, right? Yeah. One of the best for sure, but it will cost a lot of mana. We have two teleports here. Are you going to use it? Goes under. Oh. Unable to confirm, though. Jumps right into the cube. Does some bookmarking. Locks you down with the zoning. Mike Saftig trying to find a way and gets the hit with the close oh eyes. Does not confirm, though. Able to PRC to extend the pressure. Six speed to take you out of the sky. And Asuka has all the resources in the world, but Mike Saftig gets the hit. Okay, backs off. Has to deal with the oh, cubes. Oh, no. Cubes. But it's going to be a drop. Vortex. You got another Vortex? Come on, Vortex. For the culture. Oh my god, oh. picks up off of the trade. This should be good damage, but... Uh, yep, runs up. Close slash into close slash. Gonna break you, but it's not gonna no kill, mana. but you have no mana. no mana. You're gonna have to play just regular footsies. Gets up with the 6P, but no confirm. Runs up with the overhead, and Ordinary Magician will be taking game one. Right, going into the next match. Match two. Oh. Oh no. Okay, having it back off. All these cubes controlling the space. Jumps in. Oh my, he got hit by all of them. Nice burst. Ready to jump in. Man, this character oh. looks mad annoying to fight against. We got two teleports here. And we also have, I'm not sure what that second spell is, but it is a no counter mana. on it. No mana. TOD. TOD. <laughs> that would have been wild. Throws out the gun flame, just trying to hold the space. Spear. That, yeah, not going to lead to anything, but actually the plus frames are going to give you time to rebook Mark and build that mana back up. You guys hit with yeah, a low. Damn. More cubes. More cubes. More cubes. Oh, no. Oh, he's got the thing that lets him, like, auto, like, pot of greed. That's kind of nasty. Uh-oh. Stinky. Yeah, dude, auto pot of greed kind of goes <laughs> crazy, not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, man, like, when... Oh, my God. Wait, what a chase in the air. Mike Satic jumps in. Fakes oh, no. for an overhead, goes for a throw this time. Overhead tries to dash yeah. up, but the jab out is going to take the round for Ordinary Magician. Now, Mike Saftig definitely had opportunity to, to steamroll, but uh, yeah, opted to overextend. And uh, yeah, oh, really good read. Oh. Uh, speaking of reads. Oh, oh, oh. the health, man. Oh, this man in my go. This man in my go. Tyrant. And the man is gone. One more tap, and you are dead, Sunshine. Oh, Gets a knockdown. 
builds that mana back, and now you're gonna have the extra defense. Bruh. Unfortunately, knocking him out of though. HP too low. We are gonna see a final round. It's not a big deal. <laughs> oh my god. I can't handle, can't handle that. Handle it. <laughs> yeah. You can't handle Man, it's just so little damage. Like, that would have done like 15% more easy. Oh, I'm gonna block all this. Oh, nice 2D. Sets up the Zuck. Baits the YRC. Actually, not at all. The JS gonna get you a hit. Does not block the slide. <laughs> Dude, that, that staff just being there during that combo feels very menacing. Yeah. I don't know why. Five D out of range, Probably. PRC to stay in. Tries to run up again. Close slash and a close slash. Gonna take you out of the sky. What? The loops! First to stay alive. Oh no. Oh, oh no. he's Wait, summoning a forbidden one. You need an anti air here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what a funny place to teleport into. Mike Safte gonna tie it up one to one. Alright, on match free. To game three. Bad. 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 <laughs> projectiles are already coming out. Staff guard out as well. There should yeah, sets up those fast projectiles with the guard crush and that slow cube I was actually gonna, you know, chase around for a while. <gasps> He's got no cards in his hand. No, oh, they got one. He draws, Just yeah, an average turning cube, it to draw one card. Oh big throw. Back throw. Yeah, should we be able to get those cards now? Wait, actually right. opted to go for offense, has an overhead. These are the situations where it's a little tough for Asuka now, because you have no surprise at all. They know you have no zoning, you have one thing to go for, and they can play around it well. Yeah. Oh no, big throw. Got me able to draw, get more mana back. Uses all the cards, get all the buffs he can get. Gets caught though. Does have mana, so he is going to be kind of tanky here. Oh my god, big that chase throw. with the aerial throw. Sets with 5D. Should be able to kill if that magic. Oh, okay, never mind. The mana armor is just too much, man. It's insane. Oh, you're not killing mana, boy. Oh, he draws part of greed. Let's him draw additional cards. Oh, Runs over the, the 5D. 5D. RC to extend. Should doing, like, be able no to extend the spells as well. Yeah, it does absolutely no damage. And that was actually quite a bit of mana you expended as well. Oh, oh my god, wait, that chase is in that's the air? Low. That's a low. That's a low. That's that was the low. biggest scam I've ever seen. That's a low. How, how? I hate that. How are you supposed to tell that's a That is so messed up. Well, that it's a low so because the ground up. came to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, back throw. And just like that, you're going to set up some more mana, Reject. He got all of it back. One card just gave him all of his mana. That's crazy. And that's then he draws two card. more cards. He draws additional cards. Oh, my, oh, he's out of mana. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah, they got a little oh, too no. aggressive with these That's spells. It's going to be a drop, though. Mike Sastic staggering with these close slashes. Ordinary Magician finds their way out, gets thrown anyways. Fortunately, though, they have those resources back in the back dash into BRC. Oh, almost got a huge conversion there. What? Oh, no, he got caught. He got caught in drawing cards and then vortex. Dude, Mike Sastic is not afraid to just vortex in, and it is working, bro. He's not afraid. Oh, Mates the shimmy. Control, but he's not going to be able to kill. Strike throw for your life. Oh. Nope. It was a random 5D. And you know what? Sometimes that's all you need to close it around. Winner of this round will take a lead in the set. Round star going to be huge. 2S going to whiff. Far slash going to whiff. Oh. Mike Saptic with the knockdown in the back throw back incident. Throw. Oh my god, you have so many resources here too. Should be able to set Plus all rates. of this up. Just trying Draw to lock cards. you down. More cards. Yep, you got the More cards. Oh my god. You just keep drawing till you get the overhead. They're not going to be expecting it. They're waiting for your low. Yeah, he needs more cards. He has no cards. And now uh, oh, Ordinary no. Magician just going to play for... Oh my god. Just wanted to play it, you know, slowly, optimistically, get your resources back. Gets a back throw incident. This is best case scenario. Oh Goldberg's going to whiff. But Mike Saftig squeezes their oh. way out of the corner, baits no the burst, and now there's no mana, but another back throw! Yeah, you do I get touched here. Can you kill, though? Can you kill this old bad guy, not the Goodman? Oh, oh it's oh, it's not a low if you use the Nair. Ah, okay. Right, I won't be that mad then. That's cool. <laughs> but that is ordinary, ordinary magician. magician. Goes up to one. Oh, you've... I pan off the mic. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Game of four. <laughs> That's going to be an early start here for Ordinary Magician. Both players playing slow, but you know what? Eh, not slow enough. That is so much damage. Bro, hold the cubes. Hold the funny red cubes. Oh my god, what is this? Are you going to get burst baited? Nope, they're going to opt to go for these resources. Gets cut out of the sky. Easy counter here. You have no burst. You're going to have to hold this damage without the mana armor. 
Oh no, not having to block all that. Jimmy. Catch is the left throw though. No mana. We'll see that health. Ooh. Not Small dead, dump. but you're not feeling good. Gets caught in the sky. Easy pickup. Mike Saftig. Looks like they're on track to tying up the set. Okay. Gonna get caught by the 2S though, and just like that makes Saftig on the offense. Fafanir putting on that pressure. <laughs> The back throw. Bro, the back throws are insane. Ordinary Magician has stolen so many games from this. Not going to go for the burst bait, though. Throws out two spells, one of which was a little questionable, but they're going to get four random redraws and get pretty good spells. We do say so myself. Throw out the load. Not going to land. Mike Saftig trying to shimmy out of bait. Messes oh, up the no. throw and another back throw incident. Oh, my God. Putting so disgusting. <laughs> oh, my God. The spear. Then white again, season two characters. Spears. What's that about? Blocks a low, nice DP on the defense. Nice Fafanir putting on that pressure. Let's see it. Baba Booey keeping them in the corner here. No mana. Don't get caught. Oh my god. Mike Saftig chases in the sky, but it's gonna be unsafe Spear. and this means. No, oh, it's a drop! <gasps> Why are see? Oh yes, yeah, mana. Okay, oh. you're fine. You're fine. Woo. Woo. Okay. Okay, going into the the, the third game here. Set point. Yep, set point set here point. for Ordinary Magician. They're yeah. going to throw out an item. Throw out another one. Keeping you locked down, but missed times the fireball. And this means Mike Safta is going to have you trapped in the corner. Oh. Okay. Keeping on that pressure. Doesn't <laughs> want the Yu Gi Oh character going crazy. <laughs> this is Baits season the one. Yeah, it's called oh. this huge damage. Breaks the, oh. man, the mana armor. Oh my god. The damage is so big, dude. Bigger than I could have imagined. One more hit. One more hit. One like a BP, hit. next hit's gonna kill it! Eesh. There it is! <laughs> Mike Safty ties it up two to two. Anyway, match five. Up and right into it. Seems like Mike Safty is gonna keep on that offense, but getting backed up by the cubes. The cubes are very good when they cover every angle. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? When you don't have to play neutral with projectiles, not bad, bro, not bad. Ooh. Oh, big throw. Mike Safty picking great spots to stagger into these throws. And right now, Ordinary Magician looking absolutely locked down. They're going to run up, go for that old 5D. No punish here. Oh, gun flame. And now he has him in the corner. The man is looking good, pressure. but they have low cards right now. But the, oh my god, they're going to land. Get hit with a low. Aerial projectile is going to be an easy pickup into the super. And this hard knockdown should give them time to get those bookmarks back. Yeah. And hopefully, we'll get to see some, uh, you know, some pot greets. But no, going to get caught by the vortex. Just like that, gonna get some nice damage on. Ooh, stack it on. The thing is, though. BRC, BRC, BRC. Nope, mana. it's gonna be super right at the start. Spear. This also gives you plus frames. Oh. Oh no. It's gonna be an interesting trade. Oh. Mike Safta gets aggressive, goes for the run up throw, and right now they're really enforcing their strike game. And so, whenever it comes down to a situation like that, that's when they choose to use their throws. Oh. Oh. oh my lord. He just wants a bandit. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh my god, that's the late PRC hard no call mana. Bait. No mana goes for the reset, sets him an overhead, catches you again, tries to go for a whiff, but Ordinary Magician finds a way out of the corner. And whiff a button. Once oh, again, Saftic doing he's so good at keeping you locked down. The mana's high. You're definitely not gonna kill, but next hit should close out the set. Super oh, will win. Spear. Bro, what? Again, spear. Overhead? Nice Gets overhead. the hit. Wait, this would be an incredible comeback. An extraordinary oh, magician moment, if I do say so myself. Throws out the guard crush. No <gasps> way. You just won with that. Super. Do it. Do it. Oh, yes. my God. Yes. That's never happened uh, before in a tournament set, and you can't convince me otherwise. Mike Shafton takes the set to save the ace card for the very end to just plow through the, the cubes and take a 3-2. Losers finals, Mike Saftig versus Shinfil. Is this a run back? I, maybe? Yes, it is actually. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure this right. was like the second game of the day and it was a wild. So if we get a taste of that kind of aggression again, it should be a fun one to watch. Six speaking to take you out of the sky. That was tight. Bro, he was able to convert the bandit without the bandit. That's crazy. Oh, good luck. Gonna go for the YRC. Not wanna hold any any form of RPS after that. Oh. Can't cut. Let's go Shin. Keep on that pressure. Two bars. 
Yeah, that was a little down. nasty. Sets up a meaty close slash. Gets there. Forced the burst out from Mike Saftig. 2S. Oh, my God. Oh, no he got ID'd. PRC nice. to get the punish. And Shinfil looking clean for sure. It was clever because I thought they messed up a conversion. But no, they used the meter to set up a new mix. And I'm like, well, no, they didn't. They didn't mess up a conversion. They were just clever. Oh. 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 Oh, nice conversion oh. here. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I like doing that. No, it's been my thing. I like joining in with a combo. It's got fun, Rebel. Both players playing a little patiently, a lot more patient than we're used to seeing. Fafnir gonna get those plus frames close slash easily. Chases down that Ooh, bad bash and my God. that's some damage. You ever just remember what Soul Man guy was? Sometimes you know, I try yeah. to forget. I try to forget. I got hit by a close slash counter hit. Worst mistake in my life. Oh. Those were some good backdashes by Mike Saftig. Found a way out, but oh, yeah, <laughs> Shin fills it. Nope, you're back in. Oh, no. Easy blocks the DP. That should be the round with the RC. Into the fast cancel. Closing it out with the super. Shin Phil goes up 1-0. Oh. All right. Up into the second match. Right? Up and right into it. It seems like Mike Saftig's going to get a decent whiff punish here. It, he's already chunked off 10% off of a burst combo. Like, that is crazy, me. After coming from streets, oh. where, like, most of your combos are, like, 10, 20%, unless it's a big one, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, this is why I love Guilty here, man. Just, uh, Damage, the risk yeah. reward is so much crazier, you know? All these decisions matter so much more because the reward going on gets in there. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up, yo, Zanson. Gonna get that hit. Resets you again. Close slash. Jails into the lows. Wasn't expecting the Kabari. Yeah, gonna keep on that pressure now. Ooh, hold that bandit bringer. Can we get another bandit bringer? Oh no, the 2k big stuff from Meg. He's taking his first round, I believe. I don't know if he took a round in that last one. Oh wait, no, he did, he did. My bad, my bad. No. Taking the second round then. Big stuff. Landing JPs. Unable to get the conversion. Gonna whiff a 2 H, but no punish. OTG tries to shimmy a strike throw, gets a knockdown with the Fafnir or with the uh, the gun flame. Viking successfully mashes out. Oh no! Big flu slash counter hit. Yo, let's see that conversion. They keep on that pressure, goes for the cross up, nice 2k. This mix Locks is too it. much for me. Oh my god, that mix is too much for me. It's a cross up low, sets up the Fafnir, locks you down, back dashes, avoids the mashes, stays in. Shinfil gets out with a PRC after the air though, sets up a safe jump. Has bar two if they want to, overhead, oh, closes nice it out. Oh my god. Dude, you know Shinfil got it, bro, every time, man. Shin, what I really oh. like there is that Shin Phil was clearly respecting DP and they were able to yeah. hold offense while doing it. Just really strong offense. Uh oh. Oh, the command grab. Yo, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get that wild throw. Oh, it drops the let's combo. Get that is not usually what we see there from Mike Saftig, but it might cost. Gets a big counter hit and a knockdown. It's going to be a reset. We, the no, 5D no. takes the round. Damn. On to game three. Round to start, going to get a little aggressive, and then they're both going to back off. Shinfil oh. runs up with a far slash, gets the hit. That's a knockdown. Cross, oh yeah, my god! Safik is waiting with the cross up DP, gets counter hit, aggressive burst. Dude, they both got that dog in them, for real. Like, the round start was crazy, and then just make Safik with the call outs, bro. Jesus Christ, how do you do it? Oh, 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 oh no. A bit of okay, a drop combo there, but RC going to keep you in. <gasps> Why is he going to be baited? And Man. Shin Phil going to take the round. Damn. It was it was a good call out. You got to respect that. Oh. Trying success. Can't really commit. Goes for the bandit. Get keep on that. <laughs> Bro. Oh, my God. The parry, man. Sometimes Bruh? I forget how egregious it is. Yeah, that's going to get a hit somehow, some way. Gets back at the tatami. Holds the space, able to beat in time, and that's the the glory of using low recovery moves like that. Able to punish that. Blocks in time again. Ooh. Fafnir gonna keep you plus, chase to the far slash, and Shin Phil's not afraid to mash. And it is really strong to throw him with the bike in, oh, as course. we've te seen time and time again. Yeah, dude, if you're playing a character like Bacon, and you've got the threat of parry, Yozansen, sometimes there's nothing wrong with That was so clean! Oh my god. Did you see that? Man. Oh my god, with the mash in the end. Oh my god, but Shin Phil super jumped back and burst baited and set up a safe jump afterwards. Ridiculous! Shin Phil goes up to one. Anyway, next match. <laughs> On oh. to game four. That's a knockdown here for Mike Safter. They run with the close slash. Oh. And they're staying oh. in, but Shin Phil. 
Yeah, finds a spot to backdash. That is incredibly tight, and I think it is only going to work if Saftig leaves that gap in there. 5k takes it out of this guy. They're ready to extend. Take it to the corner. PRC to stay plus. Nice little whiff punish. Gets the burst out of Shin. Oh, you know what that backdash probably was? It probably OS is through. Ah, maybe. Ah, maybe, maybe. yes. Oh, overhead. Does it beat the burst? Just like that make is going uh -oh. back on the aggression. Oosh, oosh. OTG. Yeah, oh, you. no, don't need it. Doesn't go for the OTG. Wants to make sure it's going to kill. Use the RC. Hits you out of the sky. And looks like Saftig is one round off of tying it up. But Shen Phil might close it out here. Oh, nice to Clean. Ask. Clean. Oh, no. The footsie is looking real good right now. The shimmy is looking even better. Lands with the JPs. Gets a knockdown. Should get a free safe jump here. They wanted to bait out a projectile from farther away for some reason. Oh, the far slash is going to catch you backing up. Oh, catches the parry. Now he's got you in a kill situation. And there it is. Ton on him, brother. I would. <laughs> match. All right, I'll take it away. Hopping right into it. Final match for going on to winner's finals. Sorry, grand finals. Right, my bad. And it looks like Mike Saftig's the one that's going to get the aggression started early. Ooh. But big parry. Can 30%, Shin just like that. Escobar going to get the hit. Easy confirm here. Stays on the same side, tries to go for the run-up throw, but Saftig, too good at taking those throws. You, what? Bang. It reversed. Bang. That's kind oh, of ridiculous, an auto-turn. My brother got shot. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like one of those cowboy shootouts, like where you walk 10 steps and you turn around and fire. Yeah. Oh, nice neutral soul bad guy, but I have a 5P. <laughs> Shin Ooh, Phil is now on IP. set point. Can they close it out here? Ground start, they run forward, avoid the 2D. Goes out the Tatami, controls the air and the ground. 6P to challenge out. Should be a safe jump here. Goes for the cross up 2K. Oh, nice DP. And just like that, gonna Fafnir in. Messes up the throw. And just like that, Shin's gonna put on the pressure. The cross up bandit bringer, though. Yeah, the Escobar is really strong for biking, but at the same time, it can lead to those weird scenarios where you let the opponent out of a corner with a momentum moving move. Yeah, oh, oh far slash counter hit. He's got to confirm. He's got to confirm. Ooh, Fafnir! Big stuff. Just like that makes have to tie up. Kind of bringing it back. Drawing that pressure. Nice back through. That's it. Hit Here this it You know what this is, dude. Final game. Final round. And once again, bro, this is what this set deserves. Both players fishing for a hit. Playing patiently. Age Kabar just lands from so far away. Able to back off. Catches Mike Saftig out of the sky. No burst around the table right now. This offense should go a long way. RCUs, but DP's out. Oh, no. Jump sent. Oh, the 2D. Oh, this the 2H. That's a be massive it. counter hit. RC. Oh, doesn't go for it. Wants to hit. Hold oh. on to it. Bandit. Gets the hit. Puts Shinfield into the corner. It's still anybody's game, but unfortunately, the JD puts you back in the mid screen. Parry. The wake up parry will close it out. Shin Phil will advance to Grand Finals for the run back against Danny. Grand Finals, Shin Phil versus Danny, and I believe we've got Magnolia Claire playing? That's how you know oh. what type. Uh, I can't hear it, I'm listening to Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> kind of listening to Dancing in the Moonlight right now for this Grand Finals. BRC in, baits the parry, neutral hop, gonna get you that damage. You know, I, I don't think the name's too far off. Oh, wait, nope, nope, never mind. <laughs> oh. Bro, they're using more projectiles in neutral, man. That's crazy. You, do, you hardly guys see that type of stuff. Yeah, I think Shin tried to play aggressive in their first set, and I think it cost them a lot. So right now they're trying to match the pace of Danny. But Kai's one of those characters where if, like, you force them to match your pace, the character just becomes a lot stronger right now. But here Shin Phil is. Able to take a turn, 2S, gonna get a hit. Gets caught with the projectile again, and the HP is definitely looking low. Both players gonna commit to a bar. Gets the knockdown with a stun dipper, with a wake up mash. Denies the offense. Oh, air throw. God. Bro, you gotta be on top of my challenge, Danny, man. God damn. Danny goes up 1 0 in grands. On to game two. Danny made light work of that first one, but hey, Shin Phil getting started right away here. You left the gap. And Danny Cap, <laughs> I said, I Danny was going to say Danny gapped you. 
that was my first oh, uh, no, my first thought, but no, no, no I, I won't give them that no, credit, no, okay? We, we need, don't get credit for DPing, yeah. okay? <laughs> oh, yo, under those sacred briars no more. Nice zipper. Here we go, goes to the meaty 2H and the H Kabari. What a read! Not even a read, a reaction there. Both <gasps> players gonna whiff in front of each other. Throw gonna uh, recover a little faster. Danny gets Harry. in, and you know what? Getting parried once again does not feel too good. Goes for the wake up, rising goes Anson. Uh, sorry, goes right. for the rising goes Anson, gets caught by the wake up Four. super. Bro, that Both just came my music. <laughs> Five D gonna oh, be blocked, but RC gonna keep you in, goes for the back dash. Yoshi! <gasps> six speed oh. out of the sky. Smelly elbow, oh. goddamn. Falling JS, huge for that situation. And the perfect, uh, you know, spacing there for that to work. Dashes in, oh. gets caught by the JS. Can't put on the pressure, nice throw. Can't put on more pressure, goes for the close slash, baiting something with that heavy projectile. And again, that's good for fighting bacon, having a heavy projectile for the me, means you can't parry. Ooh, close slash, put on more pressure. Scum dipper. Ooh, yeah, you don't burst. burst here. Yeah, I don't like that burst bait. Oh. And you know what? Now, Biken can conceivably win this round. They're going to go for a cross-up setup. Uh -uh. Somehow, Danny uh -uh. blocks it, uh -uh. finds the gap for the DP, and takes the round. Man, Danny is just out of this world. Bro, you got to be a believer. You got to be a believer. Can we get some raw fudgy arcs? The two, did you see where you caught two S from? My god. Yep, a little ridiculous. Perry going to be baited with the run-up Fudre arc. That is huge damage here from that counter hit. Danny has that positive bonus, has the burst, has bar, and they're not even going to use the bar there. Anti-airs you with the far slash, prepared to extend with the close slash, and Jesus, God, man. Danny goes up 2-0 in grands. Which is, anyways, though, on to game three. This is potentially the final game. Danny on tournament point. And once again, their neutral presence just looking so strong. Shin Phil already has put themselves in the corner to, to just not get hit. Oh, 6 H and baits the bars. This is a big combo. Oh, are you dead Ooh. with super? Are they no, gonna opt to not use it? Possibly Scum a BRC forward it. situation. They do it. Go for the projectile to bait that parry. Like that option. Fast cancel into the close slash. Oh my, oh my god. Double perfect as well from the last match. God damn. This could be it. The final round of the whole tournament. The climax of what has been oh. personally my favorite back for brawl maybe ever yeah is that yeah just the, the games have just been win? insane oh wait no oh no oh no oh this looks so tough for shin i don't know how they do it brother i do not know i do not know they gotta believe they gotta believe let's see some js danny fishing right now with some of the best normals in the oh. game but it, uh, okay air dash yo zansen get yourself out of the corner prc Throws you Ooh. out of the sky. You just don't want to fall into DP here. Escobari. Both players meet in the sky. They do it again. JH. Stay plus the Yozans oh, with a back yep, dash. Yep, yep. Into the Stun Dipper. Into the RC. And that Stun is Dipper. it. Danny is our back for Brawl 50 champion.